is an Intensitronics Select Antenna. And you can see the tag on the bottom. And what this is, it is a booster antenna, which doesn't really seem like much. It's just a flat pan with a knob. Um, but it is a booster antenna for AM radio. How it works is it's a it's a loop antenna, but it's it's like a um, signal trap, and it basically recirculates the signal and amplifies it. So we've got our little old Pencrest JC Penny AM radio here, and let's see if we can get a weak signal in here. Which is tough to do in the basement with um, fluorescent lights surrounding you, so bear with me here. Now this is this antenna is supposed to work better on weak signals, so an advertisement in Pakistan. Yeah. Yeah, something they're advertising in Pakistan. But let's see what happens when we dial this one in. You're supposed to set this knob to the same frequency that this that your radio is set at. A power to attack the hour free speech in this cowering, in this cowardice of unimaginable proportions when we were attacked on the anniversary of 9 11. Our people were slaughtered. Now it has to be positioned in the. Uh, this anti American troll is paying advertisements on Pakistan TV, apologizing for our first um, It's hmm. Let's see first, where is the antenna on this radio and how is it aligned? I think it's at the top going across like this, but I'm not sure. Uh, let's see if we can see it in here. Yeah, there's the um, ferrite rod antenna right at the back there. Let's see if we can get this back in. Okay. <clears throat> so I believe that it should be placed behind it like that. Let's see what the instruction says. Place this select antenna alongside of the radio with the back towards the side of the radio. Okay, so let's put our radio here and the select antenna there. Let's see if we can find something. There's our um, dehumidifier running. Actually, that's not the de that's not the dehumidifier. That's the neighbor's lawnmower. That's fairly weak, it seems. That's around uh, 650, according to this dial, anyway. Uh, so let's see what happens when we turn this knob. Which is the hole in your eye. Allow the light in so they can look at the Now, the way I was trained, we didn't without any drops. What happens is 
you have maybe a 20 second window once you start shining a light in that you can see the retina very well. And then the pupil starts closing down because it re reacts, reacts to light. So then what, what the doctor could do is wait the, the light from your eye, wait about 20 seconds and start over again. But they want to convenience themselves faster. So what? Let's see if I can find something else. Okay, that's a real weak one there. Round 800. See if we can find another one. be a station there. Up oh, and that looks like it's out of the bandwidth. Because we're not getting any effect on that station. It seems to work better dirt closer to the lower end of the dial. almost out of memory so there we go the intensitronic select antenna thanks for watching